Hey guys, it's Unsaving here, and I'm going to be showing you the best mining method, in my opinion, in Tech It Classic 3.1.2. Now, this mining method is very destructive. It's going to do a lot of damage to the map, so if you're in a multiplayer, make sure that the server allows it, and if you're in single player, get really far away from your base. Here are the, the main components that you'll need. You'll need Nova Cataclysm, Redstone Torches, ender pouches, a black hole band, and a gem of eternal density. Now I'll explain what these do. The Nova Cataclysm is similar to that of a nuke uh, in explosion size and when it explodes it takes all the items and drops it in a little ball above your head. The redstone torch is just what we're going to use to light it. The ender pouch will allow us to take all of our ores and put them in our factory from anywhere in the map. Uh, the pickaxe just in case you need to use it and the flying ring just in case you need to use it. Now the black hole band what this does is it takes items around you and sucks them up into wherever the band is. So since it's in the bag anything that I drop is going to be sucked into the bag. The gem of eternal density that converts items with an EMC value into items with more value and the order is iron, gold, diamond, dark matter, and then red matter. So if you get stone, it's going to be converted into iron, and then gold, you get the idea. So you can kind of see what it's done here uh, with the red matter, the dark matter, the diamond, and you'll understand more once we get into the mining part. So you can see how I have this set up here. We have the, the ender chest and the ender pouch. The ender chest will have three colors on the top. You can customize these to any color that is in the game, uh, wool colors. And same thing with the bag. So if you have a chest with white, 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 you need a bag with white, white, white in order for this to work. Now, say for example, if we, uh, we spawn ourselves some ores, we put it in the bag. You, you can see how the chest opens when I open the bag. If we put the ore in here, it's just gonna work and so this is my you know simple 10 second automatic smelter alright so let's get to the mining part that's the fun part so let's go over here because I really don't want to blow that up and let's just dig straight down somewhere power this up even though it doesn't work in dirt uh, be careful digging straight down. That's the uh, most important rule in Minecraft. So have quantum on, or red matter, or gem. So we want to go down to about 28. It's kind of hard when you go all the way down to the uh, bedrock, because then the void gets in the way. So if we just place a few of these right now and let them set them on fire, light them up. So you can see those little black balls that dropped. That was the uh, the Nova Cataclysm doing its work and then the black hole man picked it up and now the gem of eternal density is converting all the stone and anything with an EMC value into iron, gold, diamond, dark matter, red matter. Now if you do need diamonds or anything uh, gems since all the gems and diamonds and uranium they all have EMC values they're going to get converted since uh, the ores do not have EMC values, they aren't converted. So they're just going to sit in your bag and do nothing. Now you can see kind of the order things will happen. So you, you'll mine for a while. This is after about um, 32 Nova Cataclysms. You'll, so you take all your ores and you stick them in your ender pouch. And then they're all going to start smelting back up uh, on the surface where we had our, our little factory set up there. So, I mean, it's really not that hard. So you just keep placing some down, light them up. I, I'm new at this game, sorry. No, I'm just kidding. Um, we light them up. Also, another thing with the Nova Cataclysm is they don't do any damage to you. So you could have no armor and you would be just fine. You just have to watch out for lava and fall damage. So, I mean, just look at how many ores are around us. So if we just play, I mean, if we stack these up, Now keep, this is why I said, you know, make sure the server will allow this because, you know, this is going to lag everybody else out. So if we jump back down here, we check our bag to make sure it's almost empty. And then we, I keep forgetting you have to put it directly under. 
to light it up. And this is going to be a gigantic hole, and you can see the black things are swirling around me now. Um, those are the items that I blew up. There could be ores in there, and they're not going to disappear. There's just no space in my bag right now. So once this frees up, you could even make this better by using two bags, two black hole bands, and two gem of eternal densities, and you could have a lot more volume that you can take in at once. So I mean you get the idea. Now it's going to sort all the stone out, convert it to iron, convert that to gold, convert that to diamond, and then dark matter, red matter. You can see I've got three red matter and this is just about a stack. A stack of Nova Cataclysms. And Nova Cataclysms are 5k EMC each and if you're already well established that's nothing. So it's a very uh, cost effective method of mining. Now the only drawback is well you get gigantic holes. And I mean, it's just pointless map destruction. So if we go back to the surface, I'm going to go ahead and turn creative mode on. I need to try and find my smelting station. So if we go over here, see our ores are smelted. Now I did have to use uh, build craft here because uh, the filter wouldn't work because I have the machine powered on. Um, this is a world anchor. This keeps, uh, I believe it's a 3x3 three three chunk area loaded at all times, no matter where you are in the map. So that's useful because if you're far away, you uh, if you put things in your pouch and you don't have a world anchor, the chunk's not going to be loaded and it won't smelt. I mean, so you, you get the basic idea of how this method works. Um, it's really easy. It's really cost effective. It's uh, it's very costly to get started since you need all the, the black hole band and the gems and the ender chest is kind of hard to make. But in the end I'd say it's worth it because it's uh, all autonomous and you get rich from it. Especially if servers uh, allow you to sell ores or sell um, the raw ores. Uh, you could get rich pretty fast. So thanks for watching my tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you've used this method uh, at all, leave that in the comments below because I haven't seen anybody else who's done it like this. Thanks for watching.